everybody. We're doing the whole Andy thing. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It is Friday, it's cocktail hour, and we're glad you're here. Today we're going to continue our series on cocktails that you could have for Halloween. Um, and cocktails, this one actually is something that you might have in your bar, possibly. Um, if not, easy to pick up. But make sure you do hit that like and subscribe, it means so much to us. Today we're doing the Witch's Brew. Witch's Brew, and this one you could actually make in bulk, like in a, in a what's it called? Cauldron. Cauldron, I was gonna say a punch bowl, but cauldron works. Toss a little bit of dry ice. Okay, so this is the Witch's Brew. Uh, it does call for a, um, a volcano, Sugar, which I have never heard for, heard of. Um, sorry. <laughs> what is with your words today? Just heard for Halloweeny. <laughs> I've never heard of volcano sugar, but it's a black sugar that you can rim the the cups with. Oh, but you, it's like fired. Yeah, you can always um, rim your coupe glasses with salt or sugar, and this is kind of dusty. Um, you can rim your coupe glasses with uh, salt or sugar. I prefer my drinks without that. I don't really it's like. It's a lot of effort too. Well, I don't really like it. I don't when I order I like it. I like it sometimes, but it's very specific drinks. Well, when I order margarita and stuff, I always say no, no rim. I'm fine with it on some margaritas. Okay. But sometimes no, because well, sometimes it's just even the comment what the you flavor. think. So. This is the Witch's Brew. We're gonna go ahead in the mixing glass, add one and one half ounce of Blanco Tequila. The shaker, am I doing it? Ice. Oh, that's <laughs> like. So as you know, in this uh, channel, we always make for two. And so how much? One and a half ounces of Blanco Tequila. So you're gonna put three ounces in this shaker because we always make for two. We really haven't had anybody mention in the comments. We've asked, is it better to make for one twice or can you go ahead and make for two? Um, let us know in that comments and um, we're gonna ask some bartenders. Like hmm? oh. Did you hurt yourself? I have a boo-boo and it kind of burned for oh, a second okay. there. One and a half ounces of Blanco tequila. We're using the uh, Anios 100, so it's 100 proof, right? Is that what we decided? Or is it just uh, the 100 year anniversary? What's the percent? I don't know. It's only 40%. One and one half ounces of Medora, which is a melon liqueur. One and one, and one half ounces, so three ounces. Did you do that with the tequila too, twice? Or did you get three ounces in there? Two ounces and one ounce. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, a half ounce of lemon juice. <laughs> a half ounce of lemon juice. Half ounce of lemon juice? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice in our coupe glasses just to keep it chilled. See how convenient that is? I still wish you would do fresh squeeze. Plus, big box stores need our support. Oh. Right again. <laughs> support small businesses. Support large corporations. And then uh, one ounce of pineapple juice. Yeah, another drink. Last week we did um, the Viper Reviver. And this is the same can, so it's well aged now. For 15 <laughs> or, minutes. Yeah, or we just film this back to back. Nah, it's a week old. All right, give it a good shake. Go ahead and uh, do the uh, Tom Cruise cocktail shake. Yeah. I'm not cleaning the bar, so no. Now, you can add dry ice to this, give it a little um, kind of smokiness to it, but. Uh, I'm not a big fan of putting dry ice in drinks because if you accidentally get that on your lip or you drink it, it's not good for you. Dry ice is not edible, really. Yeah. So that's why you don't you skim from the top. Yeah. 
So you gotta be very careful with that. But it gives it a nice frothiness. We could double strain this. It's also you, kind of carbonated at the same time. Yeah. You could uh, double strain this if you want, if you don't like the frothiness. I think the frothiness adds to the kind of the witch's brew goo type of stuff. You don't um, want to add dry ice in a large batch. Yeah. Sure where you're pulling out of the center. You can also um, have like eyeball eye ice, you know, like frozen. Um, or jello. Yeah, jello Gummies. type of things, kind of jazzed up. But just imagine the black um, sugar, Melanie, or kind of smells like a margarita. Yeah, it also smells like. I think it's just the acidity and the. Yeah. Anyos coming through in the smell. I was almost thinking it smelled like a coffee creamer for a bit. Ooh. Blend this, and make it like a margarita. Mm, it's really good. It's got a little peppery from the tequila, okay. but the melon's not overpowering, nor is it's the kind pineapple. Of salty. It's weird. Yeah, that's why I think I'd do a sugar rim instead of a salt rim. Not bad. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice color. Um, I think last week you called it Smurfs blood. What are you gonna? Call? Vulcan blood. Nah. What's got green blood? Orc blood? There you go. Sure. Yeah, no. It's called the Witch's Brew. I like this one. And like I say, you could prepare this one easy ahead of time. The one last week, I don't think you could prepare too much ahead of time because of all the absent rinth and stuff like that. But this one, you could definitely prepare ahead of time and have a big well, you could with the absence rinse. Yeah, you could. You just spritz it right as you pour it into your glass. Yeah, flame freeze. All right, tell us what you think. What's your favorite um, Halloween cocktail that uh, you would like for us to do? Probably won't get to it, but tell us, and we will eventually get to it, just not before Halloween. Um, tell us what you think. Be right before Halloween. Tell us what you think about the witch's brew. Uh, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, and all of our merchandise. I've been a little slow on TikTok. I need to start making some videos. So we're get... still recovering from your rock, paper, scissors match? Yeah, I should get, or the, the exercise one. That was a beat down, or Jack beat me. <laughs> all right, have a great weekend. Enjoy um, yourself, football, whatever you guys do on the weekend. And remember, that we do videos. Stay inside and play games. Yeah, we do videos Monday through Friday, so make sure you check those all out. We'll see you on Monday. Cheers. Cheers.